Now, one thing we do love browsing through here at Fantasy Football Mansions is our collection of footballers' publicity photos. And we've got a particular favourite of these, haven't we, Frank? Oh, yes. Yeah, here it is. John Barnes and his drinking straw spectacles. <laughs> <laughs> what a brilliant that. thing. Very nice. Yeah, but the great, you know I'm a bit of a Lucaside man. Lucaside sent me a pair of drinking. <laughs> the thing is, if you, if you wear these, right, and you play for England, apparently you can only see your own half of the pitch. Okay. <laughs> all right, all right, we're getting there. So, in a drink, and, and if you suck, and we all do. Go on, have a drink. <laughs> Go on, push, push, man. There it goes, can you see it? <laughs> in his mouth. Oh, you know, it's like some sort of terrible drip. <laughs> Hang on, let's have a go with No these. wonder he's always knackered if he wears this. <laughs> no, it doesn't work. That's not going to work, no. for goodness sake. Oh, shit. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, Elton John. What do you mean? I didn't mean dripping on the oh, floor. Right. <laughs> now, here's a picture of a man, um, one of my favourite publicity shots again, a man famous for bringing joy and happiness to millions. It's Graham Taylor. <laughs> Some Wolves fans, look. <laughs> but those two, they're in the tradition of the, of the great novelty football photo. You know, the footballer in a, a big costume or with, with a funny prop. But sometimes, you know, the footballer turns up and they haven't got one. So they just have to make do with whatever's lying around. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Gary Lineker with some secateurs. <laughs> Actually, can we just see that? I've just noticed. Some, what? Are those Gary's hands? <laughs> the, thumb, no. the thumbs are the wrong way around, aren't they? <laughs> normally try to do with these publicity shots is put the footballer in a situation you'd never expect to find him. Except, of course, for this one. Peter Shilton in prison. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever made him pose for that shot? That's very unfortunate, isn't it? Now, every week we talk about things we notice from watching football, but sometimes we notice things from listening to football. Like, if you listen very carefully to this clip from England versus Turkey from 1991... I'm moving forward now, listen, so listen very carefully. carefully. There was obviously someone there who realised even then how ridiculous it was to keep on picking John Barnes. Why is popping up on the left side for the first time. Useful ball to Barnes. <laughs> must, must have not realised he was playing and heard John Barnes just went, <laughs> Bless him. Probably our favourite piece of football commentary ever. And this is absolutely genuine. It's BBC commentator Clive Tilsley and his pre-match comments on Chelsea versus Zaragoza. Excellent. Right, now brace yourself for this, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to be a jolly night. I think it's bottom ticket. <laughs> <laughs> who knows? Of course, Clive Tools is one of those commentators who, although you recognise his voice, you've got no idea what he looks like. Well, here he is. <laughs> I've gone slightly hysterical, help me. Of course, the most famous high voice in football is Alan Balls, but you know, some people have suggested that his voice is becoming so high nowadays, it's attracting a whole new following for Southampton Football Club.